Hi everybody. Hope everybody's had a good week. On with the weekend. Um, I just have a few things to show you, not many, um, for this, this unboxing video. So we'll just get right to it. I have this little gold decorated bed face. Really pretty design. Very simple, but elegant. Those would probably be pretty if you had a whole bunch of them for a wedding table setting, wouldn't they? Because they are very formal looking. Um, then I have this pretty freeform blue tinted bowl. It's very smooth on the bottom. Um, there are some scratches. I haven't really gotten a loop on it to see if maybe there's a signature. But it's a really pretty piece of glass for $3.99 at Goodwill. Oh, I think this vase was $1.99. And this little ceramic frog. Beautiful glaze on this. I don't know who made this, but uh, there are numbers inside. So I'm going to do a little research and see if I can find out who the maker is. Very pretty little frog, though. Um, also got this uh, satin cat music box. For four ninety nine, it plays music really lightly. Again, I don't know the maker on this. It's not on the bottom. It's not signed. Um, it does have some scuffs on it and stuff, but I think I can get those off with a magic eraser. It's just a little dirty. I have to be careful with it though because it has the mechanism in it that makes it play music. I just couldn't turn it down. It's a cute little blue-eyed kitty cat. I also found this toucan pitcher, which is a lot of fun. His uh, beak is the spout. He looks to be hand-painted. He is made in Italy. So... I'm attracted to things made in Italy, so that's probably why I, uh, they're usually colorful and fun, so really pretty designs. I also picked up two of these cut to clear from Amber crystal glasses for $2.99 each. There were only two of them. They had two others, but they had horrible chips all around the top so I got the only two that didn't have the chips so maybe somebody will need the set of two to go with their set of two or four that's how it works sometimes all right and let's see what we got ah yes for Christmas I picked up this stack of brand new Pier 1 plates, or Christmas plates. Uh, looks like they got different, they're different colors and they have different kinds of trees on them. And they've never been opened, the package. Somebody probably got them for Christmas and didn't want them. Donated them to Goodwill. And since uh, Pier 1 doesn't really exist anymore unless they have an online store still. I thought somebody might like to have these. And I picked up some of these pretty. I don't know if this is depression glass or not, but it is the um, color. Pretty pink. Um... They actually are signed in two different places. 
but I can't read them without my glasses. So, this says France. And this says. Verico, made in France. So, these are really pretty. I got one, two, three, four, five, six of those. They were $1.99 each. I hope they're worth a million dollars, huh? Then I don't have to go to work tomorrow. But I'm not going to hold my breath on that. Oh, let's see what else we have here. If you haven't been to an antique or vintage show, you should try it. It's, it's a lot of fun. I didn't make a ton of money, but it was... A lot of fun. The people are uh, going for the signs that you put on your front porch. And I'm more into the glass and the vintage and antiques. This is a Pure One vase. It's a like a sage, light sage green with the... Uh, rust and the brown stripes around it it's pretty heavy glass so that's a very very pretty vase someone will appreciate that that would go really good with the southwestern theme and it would lighten it up some with that background color And let's see what we have here. Okay. These are in gift boxes, so I'm going to assume that these are from an estate sale. Because sometimes if they run out of boxes, they give me whatever they have. There's a little wooden with lots of embellishments kitty cat. Let's see what's in this one. Oh, this is a pretty little glass perfume bottle. It's like a chintz design. It's really pretty. And that's what was in those boxes. And I have one more box to open. And that'll be it for this unboxing video. So I don't have anything else new to show you. Oh, this is fantastic. I'm not sure. Can't read this. I don't know if any of you might have a, a better eye than me, but this is a really fun bowl, and look at the outside of it, it's got a face on it, got a mad face, let me move this so I can see what I'm showing you. Look at that face. That's adorable. I like the design on that. It almost looks like a cartoon Elvis with the sideburns and the hair like that. Isn't that funny? Anyway, 
This will be fun to research since that signature is like crazy. The camera doesn't even want to focus on it because it doesn't recognize it. There we go. If anybody recognizes the signature, please let me know because I'm at a loss for that one. Okay, that's all I have. That's my shopping trip, my very last shopping trip. So um, I'll see you next time. I hope everybody has a good week and weekend and uh, we'll get back together again shortly. Try to have another video up, maybe something different, maybe not unboxing because I have a lot of, uh, still have a lot of inventory and uh, I've slowed down on the shopping because I don't really need anything right now until things start moving again. When the economy is getting bad and people are getting laid off from their jobs, they don't shop for things that are not necessary and that includes entertainment items and um, collectibles and most of what I sell is vintage and collectible like Pyrex and things like that so if it's not a necessity when the economy's bad people are not buying so uh, it'll get better we'll see Anyway, I hope everybody has a great week, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.